no one else inside of the store could see me. And I knew exactly when they moved the money. I knew exactly when they were gonna drop it off. I said, yo, just uh, drop me off down the street. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna order something, just rob them, hit the lick. Like, that's all there is to it. I had a knife in my hand, I had a strap on my belt, like I was just doing too much. As soon as he got close enough, I, I turn around and I show him the knife and I show him the strap and I'm like, give me, I know you got the money and give me that shit. Like, I know you got it. And he kind of just like froze and he like stuck there for a second. Like he's not making no sounds, nothing. And like, I, I knew that he was in shock. Like he was just like a deer in the headlights and I, just, I had a mask on and everything so he couldn't see my face. I dip my hand in there and I just grab all this money and like, it's like kind of falling everywhere. I grab the money, I just book it back to back to the car, way down the street. I had never done anything like that before and I was just going through the emotions at that time. There's more bliss than regret. I was in such a panic, you know what I mean? I was in such a panic in how my life was going. I just ended up doing what I what I felt like I what was necessary at the moment. Everyone needs to to have money to live and like do this and that or just like spoil the people around you. My main intention was just to provide for myself, try and help out my family, do what I can just right around Christmas. You know what I mean? I'm not always eating three times a day. We're gonna we're gonna have all kinds of money and things will be good after that. Oh, you matured and fucking grew up fast, huh? Yeah, I had to. Even even before that. Even before that, I had to, you know, mature and grow up. Because I would be out there on my own at 12, 13. You know, going to a shelter. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, bro, like, that's not cool, but, you know, people make mistakes. strippers in and out of my house and I did just seen my mom sleep all day and faded and shit off of grams of coke like laying around and at this time I was living with my cousin and he moved over here from Texas he had just got out of jail he's kind of like the one I kind of looked up to there for a long time me my cousin and my mom were all growing up in the same house like we were all going through our shit. They're going after what's not important at the moment. And me seeing that, that makes me wanna go after what's not important. And that that's like the first glimpse I caught of actually trying to put in your effort for, for anything in life. You know what I mean? Like that was the first time that we're, where I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something and I put my mind to it and that, that's it. You know what I mean? I never really realized how powerful that was uh, growing up because I never seen any of my elders do that. I never seen any of them put their mind to something and go do it. I was always trying to figure out what I needed to do because my dad wasn't always there. There wasn't always someone there to mentally keep my mind of. It's more me trying to just figure it out. And you know, at the end of the day, me trying to figure it out was hurting someone else. In New Mexico, doing good, doing good can also mean like you're, you're selling drugs and you're providing for your family. You're, you know, you're doing what you have to, to, to provide for your people. And people are happy around us. The loyalty is there, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter what you're doing, as long as you're fucking doing it, you know, as long as it's getting done and you're putting food on the plate, it don't matter what the fuck it is. At the end of the day, you're doing good, brother. Don't matter, don't matter what you have to do to do it, but you're doing good. <laughs>